right now, an all-out search for an accused murderer. Edward Garner Sr. is believed to be armed and dangerous. He is accused of killing a pregnant woman and then taking his two children. Yeah, thankfully, the one and three-year-olds at the center of that Amber Alert are safe. Both were found with relatives at two separate locations. The victim identified as 28-year-old Aisha Summers, who was five and a half months pregnant. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Morris is live at 6. Kendall, are there any updates on where Gardner might be? You know, CMPD, they are not saying much more than Garner has not been located at this time. The department just announcing this afternoon another warrant for his arrest for the murder of that unborn child. The Southwest Charlotte apartment community left stunned. It was a shock, honestly, because um, this is such a beautiful neighborhood. So for something like this to happen around here, it was kind of, you know, shocking. Police responded to this apartment complex Monday afternoon, finding 28 year old Aisha Summers and her unborn child shot dead. Police say she was 24 weeks pregnant. CMPD believes 35 year old Edward Garner Sr. is responsible, calling this a domestic situation. One homicide is one too many. Uh, but in this case, obviously, our detectives, our crime scene technicians, our, our counselors are working around the clock to bring justice uh, to the victim and her family. Overnight officials issued an Amber Alert for Garner's two young children, later finding them safe with relatives. Police found the Mercedes Benz Garner had been driving at a home on Nations Ford Road. The man living at the home says he is a friend of Garner, telling NBC Charlotte Garner dropped the car off between 5 and 6 p.m. Monday night and got in a car with someone else. Now the search for Garner continues as people react to the tragedy that could happen so close to home. It's, it's really scary, um, you know, being a mom myself, like it's a terrifying thing for something like this to happen. Kendall, usually in these type of situations, we get an Amber Alert on our phones, but that didn't happen in this case. Why not? Well, we reached out to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to ask them about this issue, and they say that per the state of North Carolina, that Amber Alerts will not be sent out via phone between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. This one happening today happened between those hours, which is most likely why you did not wake up to one of those Amber Alert texts on your phone. Fred? Oh, wow. A limitation on the time frame. Interesting. Thank you for that report, Kendall.